Hi guys, another question of prelims 2022 that is doable through PYQs is given on the rightmost part of your screen in the column headed prelims 2022 question. It read, consider the following statements. The first one was high clouds primarily reflect solar radiation and cool the surface of the earth. And the second one said low clouds have a high absorption of infrared radiation emanating from the earth's surface and thus cause warming effect. So basically these uh, two statements are about the respective uh, locations of the clouds, altitudes of the clouds, high or low and what impact they have on warming or cooling of the earth. So it is uh, around, this question is around the altitude, the location of the clouds and their global warming impact. Let us come to the corresponding PYQ. It was asked pretty recently in 2019 only. And this uh, question read, why are dew drops not formed on a cloudy night? So dew drops basically means dew. And when is dew formed? When you have cool temperatures, right? So please note, this question is not talking about the altitude of clouds. It is talking about the time of day, whether it is daytime or nighttime, right? So. Uh, let us first go through this question. So it says, why are dew drops not formed on a cloudy night? The answer of the question is Bravo. Bravo reads, because clouds reflect the Earth's radiation. So the question is specifically about nighttime. It is not talking about daytime. Why is it not talking about daytime? Because during the day we have the sun and the sun uh, does not allow the temperatures to get cool enough that dew will form. So only when uh, we do not have the sun and when terrestrial radiation is escaping back into the space, uh, then we can have lower temperatures so low that dew may form. But this normal uh, happening that losing of temperature through escaping into space why does it not happen during a cloudy night because the clouds they act as a blanket they act as a cover and they do not allow the radiation to uh, you know release into the space to get lost into the space so the clouds will form a cover they will absorb the radiation and after some time they will emit back the radiation like a black body right just like the earth it absorbs the solar radiation and after some time it emits it back during daytime it will absorb the radiation and when the sun goes down it will then start to emit the radiation just like that the clouds will do the same they are absorbing the radiation at night specifically they are absorbing the radiation from the earth and then after some time they will emit it back and because of that the temperature will be uh, comparatively higher when we have cloudy nights and therefore this higher temperature means warmer uh, temperatures basically and this warm temperature will not allow uh, dew to form right so we have to understand this uh, uh, pyq very carefully in order to answer the 2022 question because the 2022 question is talking about the impact of height of the cloud on the temperature at the surface of the earth and not the time of day but the 2019 question is otherwise the 2019 question is talking about the impact of cloud during the time of day it doesn't matter whether we have high clouds or low clouds if it is night time whether we have high clouds or low clouds, the impact will be the same and uh, correspondingly when it is daytime if we have cloudy skies the temperature on the surface of the earth will be lower because the solar radiation is blocked by the clouds so the clouds will be blocking the solar radiation and reflecting it back to space right so we will not have enough solar radiation reaching the earth compared to the cloudless days and therefore when we have cloudy uh, days we will have lower temperature on the surface of the earth and when we have cloudy nights we will have higher temperature on the surface of the earth if you can understand this from the 2019 PYQ, we can apply this inference to the 2022 question. And the inference is that it is the time of day that matters and not the height of clouds. And therefore, both the statements of 2022 prelims are incorrect. The first one is incorrect because it is talking about high clouds primarily reflecting incoming solar radiation and cooling the surface of the earth. This is 
correct only partially that is only during daytime if we have these clouds during daytime they are going to block the solar radiation uh, incoming uh, solar radiation and therefore uh, consequently the temperature at the surface of the earth will be cooler but if the same high clouds are present at night time they are going to block the outgoing terrestrial radiation and thus uh, the temperature at the surface of the earth will be warmer right so the first is incorrect similarly the second one is only partially correct it is saying that low clouds are uh, they have a high absorption of infrared radiation and therefore they will have a warming effect this will be correct only during night time if the same low clouds are there during uh, daytime they are going to block the incoming solar radiation and therefore they are going to cool the surface of the earth the temperature near the surface of the earth so both the statements are incorrect and therefore the best answer to this question will be delta neither one nor two right so guys this is how previous year questions help us this was a very conceptual thing it is given in your uh, standard books also but this is a very direct very close question if we can analyze this question we will be able to get this concept uh, of course if you have read it in the books if you have this clarity that is going to be a great uh, uh, support in the 2022 question if you have not read it in the book still if you can uh, think about this PYQ uh, you will be able to infer what we have just discussed and thus you will be able to you'll be in a better position at least to solve the 2022 uh, question so you need to do all the PYQs from 1979 onwards and uh, uh, this question will form a part of the 2022 repeat questions analysis PDF uh, the PDF is available at rupees 99 uh, all the details regarding the purchase of the PDF will be given in the description of this video thank you for joining me today see you next time